Welcome to the Morning Gardener Show. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're here with uh, Mark. And Mark is doing the same style gardening. Uh, you can see him there. So wh what are we doing here, Mark? All right. This is this was planted uh, beginning of last summer. Okay. Um, as you can see it. Now what is this? I believe it's blackberry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just for those who don't know. <laughs> okay, all right. And uh now, now tell me what you did here. So you tied it up this morning because it was. Show me where the roots were going in the ground over here. I think right. you got them hanging here. Well, first, uh, this was the original planting. Okay, that's the original cane. Yeah, this is the original cut. Um, this all grew off of just this. Okay. Um, I'm going to step back and let them see what you're talking about. Now, okay. This is all off of one cane. Okay. This is currently... How long were some of these canes? This is currently the longest one. Could you could you stretch it out and let us see how long it was? Uh, and it was, it rooted itself. So it was creating a second plant? Yeah. So we actually had multiple plants starting. Yeah, well, it, it's, it's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least nine more that it decided it was going to run. Yeah, send off shoots and try and start other plants. Okay, so now, so you're putting the wood chips around this this plant now. Yeah. Um, so how, how deep are you going to put it around the uh, the, the blackberry plant? Well, it's going to be... Uh, you got some right there, you can kind of move around it. Right okay. now it's, right now it's only maybe about two inches deep around it. Okay, so how many um, you gonna put around it? About, about four or five inches? It's actually gonna be deeper than that because by the time spring rolls around, it's gonna compress down. And as, as spongy as the ground is here, as much growth as there is already, it's gonna go even further. It's gonna be about two inches deep. Okay, by then. So, so you're gonna come out with about uh, four or five inches? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now tell me a little bit about this uh, strawberry over here. Okay, it's a... Uh, Strawberry. Now, this is one plant. This is one plant. It's on its fifth generation. Okay. Um. So actually. Now how deep are the wood chips around this? <laughs> uh, about here is probably close to eight inches. Okay. So you're gonna bring it down to to, to, to about the four or five between there. Yeah. Yeah. So that the water can percolate through there. Yeah. Yeah, because we got some water coming tomorrow, so that that should um, start the, the process of yeah. watering it at that point. Yeah. It's uh. This whole area is going to wind up probably about four inches, five inches deep. Okay, okay, uh, okay. The reason I'm uh, the reason it's going as much as it is, is to start killing off the vegetation that's there now. Okay. So that come spring when these start sending out their runners, sending out their shoots. Okay. It'll I'll actually have somewhere for them to go to without having to go and do all this again. Now show me with this cane here. How you tied it up earlier? Because cause sometimes people might have problems with their canes. So what you're doing is you're going to just bring it up there, tie a big, loose knot. Yeah, basically just a, a box knot. It's just looped around. I'll bring it through on itself. But you got to make this look easy on the camera now. Because <laughs> there are people trying this at, 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 when they got their blackbirds. And then you just slide it on. Yeah. That's okay, good. okay. And now this will keep it up in the air so that you can get a... Uh, just it makes your loop a little bigger. Yeah, there you go. The uh, problem was it's got a curl to it right now, so it's unwinding itself. Okay. Okay, so that's it. All right, folks, we've been here with Mark in his garden. And uh, so what made you decide to try the uh, wood chips? What? Um... Uh, well, wood chips are, are, are a natural compost. They, uh, this is nature's general way of making a nice, decent loam, a nice, decent soil. Okay. Uh, worms love it. You know, it holds the soil. Yeah, it holds the moisture. Now, hold up. You got another neighbor that's doing this, too? Yeah, actually, we've got, I've got three neighbors doing it right now. Okay. Um, they are... No, hold up. You, 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 you hold this. Let me try this here. <laughs> okay, we're going to just tie this up real quick. And so we can uh, get this out of the way. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. That reminds me of a dog I had. Wouldn't listen at all. Okay, so so now, uh, so um, what else are you doing? You got another 
the piece of garden you're doing over here. Yeah, I got another patch over here. So you got it marked out with this container here? Yeah, from that container to that this block? one here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come out probably out to about here, just about three foot. About three feet? Okay. Um, and this is, this. I'm going to aim to put vegetables in here. Um, this area here gets uh, a fair amount of sunlight during the summer, so it will work very well. Okay. Uh, putting the putting the chips down now will help to clear get the, out this vegetation. And get the soil prepared for, for the uh, planting you're going to do? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mark here on the Morning Gardener Show with yours truly. Thank you.